वेल हाई गैस वेलकम बैक टू अर यूट्यूब चैनल आज हम सीखेंगे हाउ डू फाइंड द रेंज ऑफ अ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन इन लेस देन फाइव सेकेंड्स यस गाइज लेस देन फाइव सेकेंड्स तो चलिए विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स क्विकली गेट स्टार्टेड All right, guys. So here we have the trick. Here it says, whenever we are dealing with any of these three expressions, the first one is a tan square x plus b cot square x, or a sine square x plus b cos x square x, or a sec square x plus b cos square x. Then the maximum value of the expression is infinity. Okay, the maximum value of the expression is infinity, and the minimum value is Two times root of a b, okay. Two times root of a b. So just remember, whenever we are dealing with any of these three expressions, the maximum value of the function is infinity, and the minimum value is twice root of a b. Now, guys, before we start with the sums, there are three things that we have to observe here that will help you to memorize this trick. See, the first observation is see whatever trigonometric terms that we have here, they all are square valley terms, okay. Whatever trigonometric terms that we have here, they all are square valley terms. That is our first observation. And the next observation is, see whatever angle we have here on the left hand side, exact same angle has to be present on the right hand side here. But if we have tan square ke saath, if we have three x here, so yahan pe cot square ke saath bhi we need to have a three x here. Okay? Agar sine square ke saath yahan pe five x hai, so yahan pe cos x square ke saath bhi we need to have a five x here. So whatever angle we have on the left hand side. Exact same angle has to be present on the right hand side. That is our observation number two here. All right, and the third observation is: see here, all the expressions are actually a pair of reciprocals. All right, देखो यहाँ पे tan के साथ we have a cot वाला term here, since they are reciprocals. Then sine के साथ we have cosec वाला term, and sec के साथ we have cos वाला term here, since they all are reciprocals of each other. So just keep these three things in mind here before we can apply this trick. The first observation is. All the terms are square valley terms. Then angle has to be same for both the terms, and all the expressions are actually a pair of reciprocals here. Okay, so this way you can remember it. Now, चलिए, let's solve some questions by using this trick. All right, guys. So here we have the questions on the board here. Now, before we solve these questions, let's check if all our three conditions are getting satisfied. See, the first condition was all the trigonometric terms that we have here. They all should be square valley terms. So यहाँ पे indeed all the terms are square valley terms. So we can say condition number one is satisfied. Then condition number two was see whatever angle we have here with the first term, exact same angle has to be there along with the second term. So यहाँ पे it is same, यहाँ पे it is same, and also for the last one it is the same. So we can say condition number two is satisfied. And condition number three was all the expressions that we have here, they should be pair of reciprocals. Right, there should be pair of reciprocals. So here, pe cos ke saath we have sec wala term, then sine ke saath we have cosec, and tan ke saath we have cot. So we can say all the three conditions are getting satisfied here. So now, chaliye, let's apply our trick and solve these questions. So as per the trick, the maximum value for all these expressions it is going to be infinity. So chaliye, let's straight away write infinity for the maximum value for all these expressions. And the minimum value is given by the formula twice root of a b. So for the first one, this will be twice root of a is four into b is nine. So this is twice root of four nine is thirty six. Root of thirty six is six. So two into six is twelve. So the minimum value for the first one is twelve. All right. Then for the next one, this will be twice root of a is nine into B is sixteen, so this is sixteen nine is a one forty four. So twice root of x is one forty four, and we all know root of one forty four is twelve. So two into twelve is twenty four. So this is twenty four here. And for the last one, this is twice root of a is three into b is five. This is twice root of fifteen. So the minimum value for the last one is two root fifteen. And that's it. And that's all we have in this trick, guys. If today's trick has been good for you, then video ko like, share, and channel ko subscribe karna mat bolye. Thank you so much.